Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are all of the books that I will hopefully be reading next month in December. Baby, baby. Wow, I can't believe I'm making my December TBR. It's completely wild to me. I am graduating in December, December 16th from college and then I will be applying to big girl jobs. <laughs> so, um, December is going to be a little bit crazy. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get into the books that I will hopefully be reading. Um, I have quite a long list, so let's get into it. First one that I'd love to mention was on my TBR last month, but it's also gonna be on this month because it's gonna roll over and I couldn't tell you why until now. So first we have Two Wrongs Make a Right by Chloe Lisa. I think that's how you say her last name. I think she She's been saying it's Lisa. But anyway, this is her newest release. This is actually her first traditionally published romance book. I am so excited for her. So this is actually the book club pick for the Chronically Courageous book club hosted by me and Brie. Brie from In Love and Words. If you don't know who Brie is, you should know who she is. <laughs> if you don't know about the Chronically Courageous book club, please follow us on Instagram. We do a lot of stuff, not a lot, but we do some stuff involving our book club on Instagram, on both of our Instagrams. Uh, for example, when we announced this book club pick, it was on Instagram and we did a Instagram live with Chloe herself and she talked about the book and everything and we are so excited for her in this release. Our book club really wants to highlight and and shout out authors who are also chronically ill or disabled and about them writing about this community and so this is about that I'm gonna go into this book completely blind because I don't want to know anything <laughs> I think our heroine is autistic though so that's the only representation that I know of um, and I believe this is a fake dating that's all I know um, I love going into books blind. So I'm waiting on my copy. I couldn't read it in November because I'm waiting on my copy to come in from a certain bookstore and it'll be here in about a week. You could order the book from, pre-order it from, and it would be signed and personalized from Chloe herself. And so, yeah, and it's gonna also come with like, I think exclusive art and stuff. I'm so excited for it. But yeah, this is our book club pick for November slash December because our live show is going to be on December 17th on Brie's channel. I am so incredibly excited to read this one and talk about it with Brie. Speaking of reading with friends, I am hopefully going to be buddy reading three books uh, with some of my friends in December. First one is Madness of the Horde King by Zoe Draven. Um, this is the third book in her Horde Kings of Dakar series. This is her alien romance series that is very similar to like the Dothraki people of Game of Thrones. That's what it really reminds me of. And so um, I'm gonna be buddy reading this book with Victoria over at Victoria's Romance Reads because we've been wanting to continue on with this series. We connected over these books. She was so gracious and gifted me the first one for my birthday this year. We're so excited to read this. We both love this series. And so I'm so excited to buddy read this with her. I don't wanna know anything about it because it's the third book in a series. I just know that I'm gonna love it because it's Zoe Draven and I'm so excited to buddy read this with Victoria and to chat with her about it. I'm also going to be buddy reading Shameless Duke by Scarlett Scott. This is the fourth book in her League of Dukes series. This is one of her many historical romance series and Rachel from Rachel Rates and Sings and I have a plan of buddy reading one book in this series every month. So in November we read book three. We're going to be moving on to book four. We just have so much fun with these books. Scarlett Scott is an amazing historical romance author and so I hopefully will love this one. I believe we met the hero Lucian in book three, the one we just read, and we're so excited to read about his romance. So yeah, I'm so excited to buddy read with Rachel. We have just so much fun like voice memoing each other on Instagram while we read these books. And then I'm hopefully also going to be buddy reading A Curse of Blood and Stone by K.A. Tucker with Tori from A Novel Life. We read book one, I think about the time that it came out. Um, this is her Kay Tucker's fantasy romance series. That's so good. Tori and I had so much fun buddy reading that book. We were like texting each other the whole time and it was wild. It's one of my favorite buddy reading experiences ever because of like reading it with her, but also the book. It was just so wild. I really recommend buddy reading this series with like a friend. Buddy reading something that has like plot twists and turns and surprises is so good because we were like texting each other I think I'd like read a little bit more and then she'd go ahead of me and then I go ahead of her I think she would stop on like chapter 14 or something and then I'd read chapter 15 and I'm like you cannot put the book down yet you have to read chapter 15 you have to do it like there is something in there she's like oh my gosh okay give me a second and then she'd read it and she'd text me and it was just it was so fun so um hopefully we have like the same fun experience reading this one but yeah this is her fantasy romance series that is 
so wild and so unique. Like it is so cool. And hopefully I love this one as much as book one. I'm so excited to read this with Tori. I only really have one new release to mention that comes out in December, but we're gonna see if it even comes out, okay? <laughs> So um, this one is Love Letters from a Lord by Tessa Dare. This is her fifth book in her Spindle Cove series. It's set to come out on December 15th. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> Y'all, I've been waiting years for a Tessa Dare release, specifically The Bride Bet, but I don't know whenever that's gonna happen. But this one says on Goodreads, December 15th, Goodreads does lie, okay? Okay. And this isn't the actual cover of the book. So I am very nervous and doubting that this book will actually come out in December. <laughs> And so we'll see. I have my hopes up a little bit, but I don't want to have them up too much because I don't want to be let down. But I'm just waiting for a new Tessa Dare release because I love her so much. But yeah, this is her fifth book in the Spindle Cove series, which is like a small town historical romance series filled with hilarity, banter, funny characters, and swoon worthy moments. So I hope this one comes out in December, but if not, it's not the end of the world. I will just wait for this one like I'm waiting for the bride bet. At the beginning of 2022, I made a five-star predictions video of like, these are, I believe, 11 books that I'd love to read by the end of 2022. And then at the end of 2022, I will make a video talking about all my five-star predictions. We're coming up to December and I still haven't read four of those books. So I will be hunkering down in December to read these four and then post a video for you. The first one that I have is Devil in Disguise by Lisa Kleypas. I can't for the life of me find my copy of this book. I have a copy of it. I have just stacks and stacks and stacks of books like shoved into bookshelves right now because I'm currently trying to purchase new bookshelves. So they're just shoved in ones right now, like no organization at all. <laughs> so I could not find it and I don't want to tear apart my bookshelves. Anyway, this is her seventh book in the Ravenel series. And I absolutely love the Ravenel series. I I think this is my favorite series by her, The Ravenels. And so I was so excited to hear about this new release, um, but it came out almost a year ago, right? It was over a year ago. Yeah, 2021. Yep. And I still haven't read it yet. So this needs to happen. And this one is, I believe, like a second gen romance. So I'm so excited about that. Um, but I don't know anything else. I know my friends love this one and hopefully I will too. Next one is from Lukov with Love by Mariana Zapata. This might also be a buddy read with a friend. We'll see what happens. Um, but uh, I don't want to pressure her in case she does not want to read it. But I do have to read this in December. So this will be my first Mariana Zapata book. I have never read a Mariana Zapata. I am really excited about this. This is an ice skating romance. I think hate to love between ice skating partners. And so yeah, I hope I love this and Mariana Zapata in general, because I do have a few of her audiobooks ready for me to listen to. Um, but hopefully, yeah, I do love this one. I also have A Lady of Rook's Grave Manor on this list. And this is one I've been putting off for forever because it's a like white shoes romance, which are not my favorite ones. And so I've just been like dreading it. I don't know why I put it on this list, but I thought maybe it would beat the odds because it's monster romance and I love monster romances. So we'll see when I get to this one. I, I have to get to it before the end of the year, but yeah, I know some of my friends love this one. So hopefully I do too. And the last book that I have to read for that five-star production video is The Pool Boy by Nikki Sloan. Um, this is a book that I've been wanting to read for a while. I have any play, like the, the audio subscription service. This audio is on there, but it's not working currently. And so like that book specifically, some books are like glitchy right now. And so this book specifically is one of those books that I am not able to listen to. And I'm so disappointed because I wanted to listen to this audiobook because I listened to the first book in this series and the audio is just not working for me. So I'm going to have to get the ebook from Libby. Anyway, this is like me. This is how I procrastinate reading books. Like, oh, there's no audio. Oh, I have to read it physically. Or, oh, I have to listen or I have to read it on my Kindle or iPad or whatever. This is me procrastinating, okay? I just need to freaking read it. And I know my friends love this one, specifically Samantha. I love you, Samantha. And she freaking loves this book. So I need to pick it up. We have some other miscellaneous romances that I'd love to mention that I will hopefully be picking up in December. First is The Viking She Would Have Married by Lucy Morris. I love Lucy Morris. If you have not picked up her books yet, please do. I will shout about her and cheerlead about her books for forever because these are like some of the best, I think the best Viking romances I've ever read. And there are great historical romances. I know some people are turned off by like the Harlequin thing, don't let that deter you, okay? These are so stinking good. They're hot, they're fun, and they're like so historically accurate. Lucy Morris did amazing research for these books, I swear. But this series is interesting. I believe this is like a new series by her. This is her Shield Maiden Sister series. 
And she basically said, I think the heron from this book looks like Brienne from Game of Thrones. Like that's what she's supposed to look like. And all these three sisters are like, shield maidens and like warriors during this viking time and i am so excited for this because i freaking love brienne so um if it's if this heroine isn't supposed to look like brienne it's another character in her books but i'm pretty sure it's this one sorry i get i get i get confused okay but this one's fairly short and hopefully i can breeze through it and it's the only physical book i have on my tbr this month so i freaking have to get to it and thank you so much lucy morris for sending this one my way she is so sweet and sends me all of her books which she does not have to do but I am freaking in love with her writing so I really wanted to pick up a Christmas romance I'm probably gonna be picking up some Christmas novellas here and there during the month but I don't know which ones yet so we'll see but one that I definitely want to pick up is Our Totally Ridiculous Made Up Christmas Relationship by Brittany C. Cherry. I didn't know about this book until I created like a list of all my favorite authors backlist and this was on there I was like I didn't even know she had a Christmas romance so I'm definitely gonna be picking this one up I don't know what it's about I believe it's like YA new adult ish so I'm excited I just read one of hers that was YA new adult with like no spice in it and it was so good like I don't need spice for it to be amazing I'd like Brittany C. Cherry could write anything and I'd freaking love it because I love her um so hopefully I do like this one this title this cover looks kind of ridiculous itself so um hopefully it's just sweet and cute it's only like 200 something pages so I'm really excited to pick this one up I really want to finish the uh Corsair Brothers series for Ruby Dixon in December so in the new year I can make my Ruby Dixon deep dive video because I only have a like three more books to read by her until I'm completely done with her backlist. So two that I want to pick up. First is uh, Strake. This is the third book in her Corsair Brothers series, which is a spinoff of the Corsairs series. These are space pirates. I'm going to leave you at that. Um, but Strake is kind of like a villainous, shady dude in this series. So this is his romance with a human woman who has snuck upon his space pirate ship. <laughs> and then I also would love to read Mathiris, Mathirius. Materius. I am so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce some of Ruby's characters. <laughs> Materius. Materius. I am so sorry, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I want to read this book. Um, This is the one that I've been uh really looking forward to in this series because of our heroine Helen in here. She's like this clone creature part of the series. And I'm so excited to read about her. But yeah, I really want to do pick these two up so I can wrap up this series. And I think I only have to read one or two more books for Ruby until I'm completely done with her backlist so I'm very excited and the last book that I will hopefully be reading in December I'm crossing my fingers and hope that I will get to it is Real by Kennedy Bryan <laughs> this one has been on my TBR for so long but um I know I'm gonna have to be in the right headspace to read a book like this I've never read a Kennedy Ryan book okay Whenever I pick up an emotional book, I have to be in the right headspace for it or else it could literally make me spiral. So especially with books like this, which are books that I can relate to really, really, really well um, because of the chronic illness representation in here. I know it has amazing chronic illness rep, but I'm just so excited to read about this romance, this story. My friends freaking love this couple and I'm so excited to read about them. I actually got this book in Atlanta and it's signed when I went on my Atlanta like booktuber girls trip and um, I'm so excited to finally finally read this but again i have to be in the right headspace and if i'm not in the right headspace in december then we're gonna roll it over to january okay i'm not gonna push myself or force myself to read something like this because i want to love it okay i just do anyways there you have it those are all of the books that i will hopefully be reading in december i'm gonna be probably reading more than these books um but these are the ones that i definitely need and want to read let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me the um rose emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all wake up today's gonna be a good day 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 wake up today's gonna be a good